In 2024, you will be able to stash away a lot more money in your health savings account. Now, hopefully, if you don't already have one, it's the push that you need to get this triple tax-free account open. And if you do have one, get this maxed funded as soon as you can. Look, annual HSA contribution limits for 2024 are increasing in one of the biggest jumps in recent years. The annual limit on HSA contributions for self-only coverage will be increasing to $4,150 from $3,850. And for family coverage, the HSA contribution limit jumps to $8,300, up about 7% from $7,750 in 2023. And if you're 55 and older, you can contribute an extra $1,000 to your HSA. The trick is that if you want a health savings account in 2024, you may have to make a change to your health care plan during open enrollment season, which is November 1st through December 15th. Now, I'll get into that in more detail in just a second. This is a perfect spot to point out important disclosures. The information in this video is for educational purposes. This is not specific financial planning, health insurance, or investment advice. In addition, everyone's tax situation is different. You should discuss your tax situation with a qualified tax advisor before implementing any planning strategy. Why should you consider an HSA for 2024? Because they're triple tax Free. That means no matter your income level, you get a tax deduction when you contribute. You get tax-free growth while the funds are in the account. And when you take them out, if they're used for virtually any medical expense, they are tax-free distributions. You want to keep your money out of Uncle Sam's hands? This is one of the best ways I know. So how do you get an HSA for 2024? Well, you must sign up for a high deductible health plan during open enrollment season, November 1st, through December 15th. So what about the cost? Well, the difference between a high deductible health plan and a traditional health plan is that in many cases, you have to hit your out-of-pocket deductible before the insurance company will pay for anything. But here's the good part. Because you're paying for doctor's visits out-of-pocket, Typically, the monthly cost of these health plans is much, much cheaper. Take a look at the plans that are available to you this enrollment season and do the math. Often the annual savings of a cheaper, high deductible plan is much greater than the higher out-of-pocket costs that you will have. So if you and your family are in reasonably good health, they're often a better option from a cost perspective. For 2024 to qualify, that means your high deductible health plan must have a deductible of at least $1,600 for self-only coverage or $3,200 for family coverage. Now that means that you'd have to pay that much out of pocket before the insurance company kicks in. And we all know that as we age, your medical costs go up. The earlier you can save in a tax advantaged way for those medical expenses, the better. So let's let compounded growth pay for your future medical costs. Check this out. If your family opened and started contributing the family maximum of $8,300 to your HSA each year for the next 30 years and you earned a reasonable 7% per year, you would have over $800,000 in the account tax-free. Let me say that again, tax-free. It would only take 11 years before the earnings in the account are growing faster than your contributions and you get that tax deduction against your income every year. This is really powerful stuff. It's also important to know that when you withdraw HSA assets, similar to Roth IRA assets, the distributions do not count as provisional income. So what does that mean? they will not make your future social security taxable. Now that's a really big benefit as you begin taking assets to live on during retirement. Now HSA enrollment continues to grow as Americans learn about these plans. And I wanna help as much as I can to let people know about these plans. And so do employers. In fact, more employers are now offering matching contributions to your HSA account. Or if you work for the government in some capacity, there's a healthy contribution waiting for you there. It's really powerful stuff. Those contributions can actually pay for most of your medical expenses if you're in reasonably good health. At the end of 2022, Americans held $104 billion in 35.5 million HSAs. That's like a mind-blowing stat. But despite the massive benefits, most holders aren't taking full advantage of their accounts and they're missing out on substantial rewards. The average account holder has a small balance and contributes 
far less than the maximum each year and doesn't invest the funds in their HSA. They just leave it in cash. I think this needs to change. You wanna know how to set up your family and yourself for retirement success and build wealth for your children? Take full advantage of these accounts while you can. Who knows how long they'll be around and how long you'll be able to contribute to them. Now, is a high deductible health plan right for you? While these plans can be great options for some people, it's not the best choice for everyone. It depends upon your health and your financial situation. Here's where it makes sense and where it doesn't. A high deductible health care plan might be right for you if you're healthy and you rarely seek medical care for illness or injury you're not paying much for those out-of-pocket medical costs. And you can afford to pay your deductible upfront or within 30 days of receiving a bill for that amount if a surprise medical expense came up. You also need to have the means to make significant contributions into the HSA. If you're healthy and you're interested in using an HSA, as a way to save or invest money, then the high deductible plan might be right for you. And what if your employer is contributing? If the HSA contribution is enough to cover most or even all of your deductible, it's almost a no brainer. Now, a low or a no deductible health plan might be right for you if you're pregnant or you're planning to become pregnant or you have small children and you have a lot of medical bills related to pregnancy and small children. If you see a doctor frequently for a chronic condition, if you take multiple expensive prescription drugs or one drug that is really expensive, then this plan might not be for you. If you or your children are playing high risk sports and often get injured or you can't afford the high deductible, then a low or a no deductible plan is probably in your best interest. Now, I wanna share with you a little known secret, and you're not gonna hear this or see this anywhere else on YouTube. Did you know that you can withdraw HSA funds for any reason at any time without taxes and penalties if you do this one thing? Find out what that is in this video next. It may just blow your mind.